What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Acura Painter. Now we've undergone a big change over here at Acura Power Pines. That's why you haven't seen me for a little while, but it's a really good change. And any change, it's a little adaptation. You gotta learn new things, but that's what I love about this business, being able to learn the science of different companies. And what do I mean by that? We're right behind me. We have a completely new paint system. I'm gonna show you it. The whole mixing room looks amazing. So let's take a look at it. I'm gonna bring you in on a little job today. Got a little MDX tailgate. Um, we're gonna use this new system for. And let's see how it turns out. Okay, so right behind me, we have the new system. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you the new um, color scale chips. Now, every single uh, chip we have here goes for the most part for a car. If there's not a chip, then we have a camera reading that we can find the color code for. Um, all of these are individualized, they have different shades. Now, these aren't actually shades just a magic card. These are actually color groups, okay? So, for instance, we'll pull all the makes and models and we'll get all the similar colors and they will go into a color group. So it's not like we're just going to Sherwin-Williams and trying to find uh, swatches to match a car. That's not how paint works. So, we'll get into more paint matching on another video, but that is the uh, new color chip um, selection that we have over there. And take a look at this. We are spraying now Sickens. We are a Sickens shop which is a very high quality paint, which we're very happy. Uh, we have all new toners. We have the whole entire booth is cleaned up, okay? We have all of our clear coats. We have all of our PPS from 3M, which is a great company. So we are pretty much ready to go. I'm super excited. So I'm gonna show you right now in the booth what we're gonna be painting, and then we'll hit the time lapse, and then uh, we'll see how this paint system works out. I really think it's gonna go great, so stick along. Okay, so we got the uh, panel all ready to go. It's been cleaned off. A few things I'm gonna bring into the booth. I'm gonna bring my tack rack, get rid of any lint. After that, I'm gonna neut neutralize the panel using this to remove any static. Then, we're gonna seal the panel. I got my tack down. What this is gonna do is give me a nice uniform substrate for the base. And then after we base coat, we we'll put the clear on. So, sealer, base, clear coat, let's get to it. Okay, so we saw me saw me in the booth. I sprayed down the sealer, let that flash, got nice and um, matte. Now put down the base. Now the base in this system flash is a little bit semi-gloss. It's not completely flat like our old system, but that just depends on how the system and the characteristics of the actual product being used. Speaking of characteristics, the most important thing you could ever do is consult your TDS booklet. In this booklet, you'll find every single product that we use, okay? and it's pretty much the instructions. Now, you wouldn't be smart if you were to take your um, product and just go into it blind, all right? These are the chemists that actually design the actual product. They're in the labs, they're the ones that test it and design a specific product in such a way to be used in different scenarios, okay? So what this is gonna tell you right here is gonna tell you, for instance, how much flash time, how to spray it, what kind of tip to use, how to bake it, all that technical stuff that you're gonna wanna know to maximize your product. So what I did is I found this actual product here, HS Two Pack Clear. We use it fast because it's a small panel. And from there it's telling me I need to let this flash between about six to 10 minutes, okay? So once I let that flash, I can put on another coat. Now, if we were using this product right here, okay, this product right here is back to back, meaning I put down one coat of clear, I take a deep breath, 
and put down the next set of coat, the next set of clear coat right over that. All products different. You need to know your product. So we're gonna get this mixed up. For that, we have our PPS cup. We have our clear. Excuse me, our hardener and our clear. We'll get it mixed up, and you'll see us put it right over there on top of that tailgate. And let's take a look and see how it comes out. Okay, so you saw me apply the clear coat. For that clear coat, I used a 1.3 and a WS400 and I wanted and I love that gun. It really atomizes really well. Before I show it to you, I just want to talk about the page and the direction we're moving with the page is we're really trying to make this page informative. So if you have any tips, leave it in the comments below of what you might want to see. I really want to try to um, cover the professional all the way to the do-it-yourselfer. So that's what I'm about. And let me know down below how you feel about the videos and what you want to see. Before we end here, I'm going to let you take a look. I'm really pleased with the way it looks. I'm going to hit bake when we leave so it's super nice and hard and dry. By the time we come back in the morning, we're ready for assembly and get it back on the road. So check it out and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thank you.